Hey everyone, I'm DJ with The Bear Essentials and today I'm gonna to show you what to do if your windlass were to snap while you're out in the bush. <laughs> it's kinda of hard to do. Ah, uh, there we go. Snapped windlass. On these new saws, you have two separate pieces of paracord tied together by square knots or reef knots right here. So the very first step is untangling both of these pieces of bear cord. With this type of knot, you grab both of the tag ends and push together towards each other and it'll loosen the knot and it'll come right apart. And on the other side, grab both the tag ends, push towards each other and it will loosen. Take that apart. So we're just gonna pull the paracord out from that piece. Next, you're just gonna to wanna to find a stick to replace that windlass. Uh, get a hardwood or a green stick, that's the best. You don't want brittle dry wood for this. So first, I'm gonna take my two ends of paracord and I'm gonna tie a reef knot with them. I'll show you what the reef knot is. We're gonna take both pieces of cord, we're gonna face them against one another and fold them over, just one cross, one like that. Now, we're gonna do another cross, but the opposite way. And they say right over left, left over right for this knot. So cross the opposite way, and it folds through. Now you can see on the top, both the ends are facing opposite directions. We're gonna hold all four and pull. And you know you have a reef knot if it looks like such. There's a loop around with two lines coming out this way and a loop around with two coming out that way. Now if you don't do right over left, left over right, you're gonna end up with this. That's called a granny knot. It'll still work, but it's not quite as strong and it's hard to get out. It does take a little bit of practice, but you'll get it. So again, right over left, left over right, pull together. Now we have one really long piece of paracord, great. Grab your saw frame, string that through. Grab the other side, string that through. The saw is strung, we have to attach these cords using the square knot one more time. Oh God, oh, granny knot, jeez. Pull them together, there we go. So this is what we're left with now. You have your buck saw with one long string. We're gonna assemble it. Now you take your stick, you're gonna place it in between that paracord and you're just gonna wind. Wind, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about number 10 is where you wanna go. So you can see there's not much clearance on that stick. I'm gonna push it down a tiny bit. And there you go. That's how you replace your windlass in the wild and when you're on a camping trip so that you can still use your saw to process firewood while you're out there. And as soon as you get home, send me a message and I'll send you over a replacement windlass should this happen to you in the field. But until then, you have the confidence to bring this saw out. Should something break, you could always troubleshoot. I've made this saw to be fixable in the wild should you ever need to. Once again, I'm DJ with The Bear Essentials. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much.